Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and today in this video we are going to be um well I'm not 100% sure yet but I think we're going to try and find a skeleton spawner and make a skeleton farm but, but first of all we're going to go and explore a desert temple but first of all we're going to sleep because why not there we go right so we can, there is a desert temple over here, I'm sure some of you will know that it's over here. So let's go over here. Right, so, just over, over yonder mountain. So yeah, the plan is to make a skirt and spawner because we really, really are going to need a lot of bone meal. Because I would like to make a flower farm and they require a lot of bone meal. So... Yeah, so I guess I'm going to find one. You have two choices. You can either recreate your world when you want to find one, and then and but and then go into spectator mode and look around and find one. Or there are things that you can put your world seed into, and it will find it will find it for you. Or you can. Yeah, and I have actually already done some research into where one is, and and I know the coordinates where it is, so I'm going to go there. But first of all, we've got to explore this desert temple, because I've been so tempted to, and hey, who knows, there might be like, I don't know, god apples or something waiting there, which could be really good. Like, who wants an enchanted golden apple? Certainly me. Who wants a saddle? Certainly me. You know what I'm saying? So, here it is. So, desert temples. Haven't really talked about them. They just, they spawn in your world, only in deserts. Um, there's nothing in the outer ones, simple as that. Um, the, unless, yeah, there's literally nothing in there. Uh, so you want to go into the centre here, you want to go in here, like so. And you want to mine down on this block, so you land there, break the pressure plate because there's TNT underneath, and you will die. So, and we don't want that, do we? So, then you want to just break all the TNT, like so. There we go. Right, let's pillar up. There we go, and then you can simply check your chest. So, diamond horse armor, pretty good, pretty good. Saddle, pretty good. Um, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, useless. Or sand, which I, I will take because it doesn't like sand. And then we've still got two more chests, hoping for something decent. Okay, diamonds, I'll take it, I'll take it. Iron horse armor, well, again, pretty good. There we go, and then more sand, and yeah, that was really, really bad. Like, I was hoping for, like, an enchanted book of some variety. We got a couple of saddles and diamond horse armor, that's not bad, but I mean, really was kind of hoping for more. But, oh well, it's fine. I mean, it like it'll do. It's not the best. It's not the worst. But hey, we can check this off of our list and officially call this explored. And how we're gonna do that? We're going to block off the top like so. So if we ever see this again and think, oh, there's a desert temple there. Nope, we've actually explored it because there's no hole in the top. Right. So the plan now for the rest of the episode is to. Right, um, I'm going to go to the skeleton spawner that I know where it is, and then we're going to actually no, sorry, we're not going to. So to build the skeleton farm, how I want to do it, we need soul sand. Soul sand can be gotten very easily, but it can only be gotten from the nether. Now to go to the nether, we need obsidian and soul sand elevators. They only work. If you have water sources, and an easy way to get water sources is kelp, and 
And we're also going to need quite a few signs as well. So, yeah, that, we got a lot to do. So I'm going to go, I'm going to get some obsidian. Because we do desperately need obsidian for this build. And then I will see you once I've got enough obsidian to go to the nether. So ready to go to the nether, I believe that you need 14 pieces of obsidian. You want to place them like so, so then you've got two blocks in the centre there. And then you want to go up. You want to go up. And I believe that you just want to go across. And then there you go. Got a portal to the nether. And you light it like so. And there you go, we have another portal. Which is amazing. Right, let's go through. Let's see if we've got a decent nether spawn or not. Which I hope we do. Right, then let's wait for everything to load. Okay, we do seem to have a decent nether spawn. What have we got? Soul sands over there, magma's also over there, which is good. Uh, yeah, I think that we've got a good nether spawn here. But, however, we do need nether quartz, and when mining nether quartz, always, always use... Um, fortune because then you will get so much more and it's an amazing source of XP as well so I might I probably shouldn't mine too much I might just try and get like a stack which I'm probably gonna get like pretty much like right now so so if I just oh yeah what else is going on here there we go if we make our way up to here and then we just go like so and then we go like so, there we go, and then we've got our we've got a stack of nether quartz which will do it's it'll do for now. So what have we got then nearby spawn? This seems to be an alright spawn. Right, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna run. And don't not fall down that hole, that would be very bad. Um uh, and then we're just gonna simply mine this out a little bit until we get to here, which we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down, and we're gonna go down to here. There we go. And now we are on the salt sand. Now you walk slowly on salt sand, but that's not that big of a deal. So we just want a little bit, we don't want very much at all really. We just want like, I don't know how much we got now, 26? Yeah, they're magma blocks, yeah, you take damage on magma blocks, they're not necessarily the best things in the world. But they're very good if you want to pull entities or whatever downwards, so. Right, so then there we go, so. Right, so then. How much have we got now? We got over two stacks. So that'll do it. And whilst we're here, I am also going to get some magma because it is it is very handy for you can kill stuff on it because obviously you take damage when you're on it, so it's pretty good. Uh, right, what else have we got here? So I've probably got like how much magma have I got there? Yeah, I got twenty seven. That's yeah, that's really not that good, but oh well. And I can hear a gas, which is not good. Because I can guarantee you that you... Gas, yeah, they're just not very nice. They like to shoot you off things. I can hear it, but I can't see it, which is good. So, we're going to take this advantage, and we are going to go back to the portal. Because the nether is a scary place. Well, you really, you don't want to be in the nether. Let's be honest, because it is just not very nice. However, once 1.16 comes out, well then, then you probably will want to be in the nether. Right, then let's just run over here. And you see this is... That's pretty good, because we've spent like, what, like, two minutes in the nether, and we've got like, quite a lot of stuff. Spent two minutes in the nether, we got um, 
Yeah, but I don't know what all this lag to suddenly about. Um, yeah, and we got we've got like a stack of sixty four, if not more quartz, and all generally very good. So let's go. Let's just put our nether rack into here. There we go. That's all really good. It's all some good stuff. Right. So now, what we need to do now, we're going to craft up an empty. Uh, I think we've got a cartography table in here. Yeah. So what we need. We need a cartography table. We're really badly running out of space in here. Let's put it in that corner. We need a cartography table. We need that. We need that. And we need a lot of paper. So I'm going to go and grab some sugar cane. Because I do still harvest the sugar cane farm. Whether you believe me or not, I do harvest it sometimes. So there we've got, yeah, we've got quite a bit. Let's just get a stack for now, I suppose. There we go, and then we can convert all of this into paper, and then all of that can go into paper, and then what you want to do, you want to craft a compass, then I believe just surround it in paper, and then you'll get an empty map, which is exactly what you want, and to go with your empty map, then you have to put the empty map in the cartography table, Combine it with. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you do this. I'm very bad when it comes to doing this. I think you have to load up the map first. So there we go. There we are. So that's good. Okay. So then if we put that in there with that, and then we get that. And then. Yep, yeah, then we get that. And then we get that, and then we get that, and then that's as far as we can go. That's all you want to do, and then you get that really, really horrible sound. So here we are. That's us on the corner of the map. Now I know for a fact, which this is quite good actually, because I know the skeleton spawner is in that direction, so this is good how the map's loaded, like that. And then, but you won't get this lucky all the time. Next thing you want to do that, we'll put the put this stuff away again and then yep yeah, there we go and then you probably want to put that in your offhand and then I think yeah let's get a couple more bits of food because we'll probably need that uh, I'll just grab the bread as well just in case and I think yeah this will do so what we want to do now we're going to go off and we're going to explore and we're going to find a ocean because we really want to find an ocean because we're going to need um, kelp. So we're just going to, I think, just going to fill in the outer edges of the map for now. Because that's really what you want to do. You want to fill in the corners of the map. So I will cut to when I have found an ocean. Well, everybody, that was simpler than expected. I was expecting to have to run for like half an hour, but that only took me like five minutes, which is quite good. So what we all need, this is the stuff that we came looking for, kelp. It's absolutely amazing. We'll just break, like, I don't know, we'll just get a little bit of it. Yeah, that'll do. So it was added in the 1.13 aquatic update, and it's really good, basically. Oh, dolphin power. You can eat it when it's cooked in a furnace as dried kelp. However, it heals like half a heart. It's about as pointless as beetroots when it comes to food. There we go. And then, yeah, we just about got a stack, which is pretty good. So, I'm gonna just... I guess I'm just gonna run back, because... My base is in that direction, so we can load a little bit more of this map in. And we will slowly but surely load in the map as we get going, which is good as we slightly but surely explore the world. So this is really good, we've made lots of progress so far in this episode. So I'll cut to when I'm back at the base. And really, we are back, and we have managed to get back from that quick little trip. So what we need, so what we're going to do with um, this, we're going to make it into, but we're going to like put this map on the wall. Now this is a very, very simple way that you can do this. Uh, what we need is sticks. 
Uh, okay, I'm not going anywhere near one enough wood. Um, so we need some sticks. And then we need an item frame. And then I don't really know where to put it, so I might just. I think I'm just going to put it there. There we go, we'll, we'll slap it there. There we go. And then that little green dot just there, that's us. So we've explored that little bit of the world. We've got all of that other space to explore. The map is literally, it is like, it's nearly like 10,000 blocks by 10,000 blocks, I think. But I'm, don't quote me on that because I'm really not sure. So, right, then let's put all of these back into here. So then now, guys, I suppose now I need to go and I need to find my, um, I need to go and I need to find the said skeleton spawner. I know that it's in that direction, so I might actually take the map with me for this. If I rotate it, thank you. So I think I'm going to take the map, map with me for this actually because it's over yonder. It's over there, I think. So I will see you guys when I'm up at the coordinates of it. I already know where it is. So. Right. So everybody, if we dig straight down just here, then logically we should hit um the spawner. He says hopefully. Very very hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know what Y it's going to be at, but hey. So I guess we just keep on digging down and down and down. Until we hit it. I don't remember when I... When I actually screenshotted the coordinates. I don't remember it being that far down, but I can already hear the skeletons. Which is very, very good. And I didn't bring any torches with me, did I? Uh, okay, uh, I messed that up. Okay, no, no, I'm out. I messed that up. I didn't bring a torch. Okay, well, we know where it is now, which is good. Can't believe I messed that up and didn't bring any torches. Well, we know there's definitely one there now. And there we go. Right, so we are we live over there, so it's just a matter of running back I suppose. I will see you guys when I am back over there once I've got some torches. Right, so everybody, we are back. We are at the spawner and as you can tell we have lit it up beautifully. So the creeper came along and blew up the other chest. However, in that chest was some pretty good stuff. We got some, um, some pumpkin seeds, some melon seeds, some bones, and a name tag, which is pretty good. Let's have a look at this other chest. Golden apple, not bad. Another name tag, that's pretty good. Bread, not bad. Rotten flesh, pretty average, to be honest with you. Yeah, really, who needs 13 rotten flesh? However, I something that I will take, I will take the chest because I could really do with the chest because I'm going to need to store some stuff down here which I probably really should have considered a bit more beforehand so let's just yeah let's just put in all of the water buckets yeah let's just put in all of this stuff really that's a bit useless to us at the moment won't be in a, in a bit, but it's currently useless to us, like we don't need, yeah, okay, there we go. So what we're going to do, we're going to dig down five blocks. We need to dig out from the spawner by five blocks, I believe. One, two, um, three, four, and five, like so. And then one, two... That's one, two, and then three, like so, and then one, two, three, so another two, like so. How much more? Ooh, 200 durability left, and we're going for one, two, three, four, and then five. One, two, three. Oh, that's six. Oops, oh well. 
So that this is the perimeter that we're going to need to dig out, and then we're going to need to dig it five down, I do believe. So actually, I'm going to move this chest because yeah, I should have put that chest over here. There we go, and then yeah, there all of this stuff goes. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's that. Let's put that away because we don't need that. Right, so I will dig out said perimeter, and yeah, I suppose then I will speak to you once I've done that. Right. So everybody, we need to send up our skeletons to Y equals 43, because then they'll fall down and then there will just be one hit kills. So, what we're going to do, we're going to place the sign right there. There we go. You know what, actually no, we're going to break that. Yeah. We're going to write subscribe. There you go. So that's what you need to do. You need to subscribe. Because the sign even says so. Subscribe. There we go. Right, so we need to send them up to that because then they will all be one hit killed. So why it was 43 from here. So. Uh, right, so once I am up at why it was 43, that, I, that's when I will next talk to you guys. So, at least what you, what we've now, we are. Well, we've dug up all the way up there to Y43, so now we need to make all of this into water sources like like so. So then we go like so. There we go. Right, and then very very simple hack. If you want to make them all all into water sources, wait. Actually, no, the water will always continue to flow down like so. But so now what you also need to do, you need to put signs because that will prevent the water from flowing. So I don't think I actually crafted up enough signs because I am stupid. So I guess we're gonna have to go out and get some more signs. It's a bit of a pain, but oh well. And then doink and doink and doink and then doink and doink and doink and doink and then doink and doink. And doink, and doink, and doink, and of course I never crafted them enough signs. Okay, well, we'll go back and get signs in a sec. But first and foremost, let's make all of these into water sources by making it all kelp. So, yep, yeah, there we go, and then, uh, and then it will all flow up like so. Da -da -da. Right, yeah, there you go, and then to simply make it into a. That's just a mess. Oh well, right, let's. Since we're back here now, we can make more signs, I guess. We've got four there, will that be enough? I don't know, uh, let's go like so. And then let's make, I don't know, them. Then let's make them. And let's make them. There we go, that should be enough size. Right, so uh, I'm gonna put that back. Oh, no. I'm gonna put you into there. Like so. There we go. And then I'll see you guys when I'm back there. Right, so everybody, you wanna make it into a soul sand bubble elevator? Very, very simple. Very, 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 very simple to do. All you wanna do is just. Go in here, grab some soul sand. I know it might sound slightly self explanatory, but you grab soul sand, place it in the base, you 
should logically start to see bubbles. And logically, when you throw an ice in there, you should be shot up. And you yourself should be shot up if you go up there. And there we go. Up just yeah. Don't put yourself up there. That's just a bit stupid. But be sure to subscribe. Right. Um. Right. So what do we need to do then? What's left of the farm? So we need to send the items. Oh no, sorry, not the items. The skeletons. We need to send them along. So you may be thinking, well, how are we going to do that? Well, it's quite simple. We're just going to go up here, like so. God, I love these bubble elevator things. We're going to break this block just here, and we're going to break this block just here. You're then going to realise that like an absolute numpty, you've forgotten to bring your signs, because you need signs for this. There we go. Yeah, I can't believe I forgot to bring signs, and I really shouldn't have put this water in yet. Oh well. Right, so we need signs, there we go. And then... Still a doink. Still a doink. And then you want to place in your signs right there. And you probably want to light up this area because this is a potential area where you can actually get mobs maybe spawning if you're unlucky. And no, this won't affect the rates of your farm, don't worry. So then, what you want to do, you just want to line out eight blocks, I do believe, and I've not been counting, so I'm just going to... Go for one more, like so, and put that in there. And then, obviously, as you can tell, it immediately the water doesn't flow, and no, it does flow the other way because, like in Numpty, I waterlogged the sign. Uh, why did I waterlog the sign? So then, logically, you replace that, right? Break the sign. You place a block there to drain the water, then you break said block, and you place said sign in there again, then you don't waterlog the sign. Why does it automatically right that's slightly confusing, but oh well. And then there we go, and then to here, then you see they just drop down just here. I think you want to just put another sign just there just to make sure. And then they will just logically the mod. The best way to test this, right, we're going to perform a quick test, we're going to see what happens. We're going to go all the way down here, and then we're just going to, no, don't want to go in there, we're just going to toss our bucket. Okay, yeah, the bucket, the mobs won't get caught like that. Water bucket, in there, let's follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. And it got stuck just there, however the mobs won't get stuck there. Don't worry. No, hell no. Oh, there's a dino person out there. I don't know if I went to the Well. Right. So, guys, now we need to mine back down to y equals. Um, y equals. I think it's 21 that we need to mine back down to because that's where we were originally at. And this can be lit up, there's going to be no water here or anything, and that won't, again, it won't affect the rate of your farm, so it's fine. So we want to go back down to here, to 21. And we're going to light it up again. And then we're just going to mine out just here, just a little bit of a room. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very small room for now. Uh, we'll make it one more block tall. Yeah, well, don't worry, we will come back later, we will mine out more of this. Then you have to put that back there. Well, you don't have to put that back there, I've just done that, because why not? And then I'm going to, very simply, I'm going to create a staircase up just here, because we need to... It would be nice to have a nice little way from the surface to here. So... Right. So, there we go. And I didn't mean to dig up so many blocks of dirt. There we go. Let's break you. Then we need to go there. Then we need to go 
there. And then let's go there, like so. And I'll get rid of that. And then, guys, I'll see you when I am done with this little staircase here. Right. So, ready? The next step is to run a hopper in there, like so. Then we're going to place down a double chest just here. And then we're going to place down another hopper running into there. Then we're going to place that block back in because the skeletons can't actually shoot you when that block's there. So we should all now be pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we need to do. I don't think we need to do anything else. So I'm just going to mine this way and I should end up back into the room in a sec. He says, hopefully. Yes, there we go. So then, since we're actually now back in the spawner, I don't think there's anything else left to do apart from test it. Probably. So I suggest that we just take out. Uh, what have we got in this chest? Have we got anything really in this chest? Oh, I'll take that, I'll take that. Take all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't really want that, I don't want that, I don't want that, but I do want that, and I do want that, and I do want, don't want that, I do want that. What else don't I particularly want here? I don't want that, but I do want that. And yeah, all of that really was left in there, just junk. So, we'll block you up, and then we've just got to take out the torches, I suppose. Which is probably the hardest and scariest part of this whole thing. Right, there we go. Uh, let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you. And then let's get rid of you. And then let's just break you, let's break you. And let's break you. Then you, and there's already skeletons here. No. No. Nope. Did I leave a torch up there? No, I didn't. Good, okay. Right, that's that. Um, what else is there to take out? There's you. And there's you. And then there's you. And then there's you. And then, no, I don't want to go up there. Then. Yeah, I suppose we just. Stand here and we wait for the skeletons. Hopefully, he says, hopefully. So, everybody, we have gone out. We have got quite a lot of ores and resources. I'm sure that you all took your dead guesses down in the comments towards how many you want. No, sorry, towards how many you got, but there you go. That's how many you got. I think a stack of iron blocks is pretty good, and diamonds, yeah, well, they're pretty good. We're pretty much set on them. So what we now need to do, we're going to make those into diamonds and then we're going to get some sticks and then I really need a better shovel. Because don't get me wrong, efficiency for Fortune 3 is pretty good. But we don't have unbreaking and we don't have silk touch and also Fortune isn't very good on gravel for mining gravel with. So, I think what we need to do now, we need to go out and we need to get even more. Um, we need to do, no, sorry, we need to go out and we need to do some enchanting. Uh, to do that, first of all, we need to craft up a shovel. There we go, right. If we could get silk touch as well, that would be good. But I kind of like it how we've now just got this chest with all of our stuff in that we... You know what, I'm putting these 15 slime balls in there as well. Firstly, no, that's ball. I thought that was an iron block for a second there. Right, let's see what we've got going. We've got 43 levels. We must be able to find something good. What's that? Efficiency for... Hmm. Well, it certainly isn't the best. Uh, where's a lapis? There we go, let's take that, and then let's, there we go. Right, it's, that's really not the best, I've got to be honest with you. Um, 
Let's see, what have we got? Efficiency, just efficiency four. Okay, no, I don't want that. Now, I think if you put, like, a book in this thing just here, I think you will also get, um, the, like, enchantment back as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, Silk Touch, ooh, that could be quite good, but we'll go with Breaking 3. I'm Breaking 3, Efficiency 4, yes, that's exactly what I wanted, good. Now, the other thing I need, I need probably a better sword. I'm Breaking 2, Sharpness 4, not the best, so let's also get a better sword. Uh, where'd I put my sticks? There they are. Um... Then we want a sword. Uh, let's just take out all of these resources quickly and make some more iron blocks. There we go, there we go, there we go. Right, so then. Please be something good, please be something good. I'm breaking three. If, let's see, smite four. Well, I haven't got a zombie spawner, so, or a zombie farm, sorry. So that's not very good. I'm breaking through again, seriously. No, not gonna go for unbreaking three, sorry. It's gonna have to be something better than that. Sweeping edge three. That's really not very good, I really want looting. Come on, I'm not going to seriously have to go out and get more levels, am I? Sharpness 3, Sweeping Edge 3. Wow. Uh, well, I suppose if we combine them in the anvil. Doink and doink, we get a fully repaired one with Sharpness 4. Sharpness 4 on it. We're doing the other way round, possibly. Oh, you see, that costs 19 levels. That costs 9, so... There we go, I guess. It could certainly be better. Really do want looting. Guess we'll have to get a looting village, but that's fine, I can do that. Right. So, I think that is going to do for this episode. Um... So, yes, yeah, so I would like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in a brand new video tomorrow. Bye.